So okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can play smooth games um, on your DSi using the S card 2i. Uh, this also works on the R4 i card as well, so I won't bother making a separate video uh, unless I get enough requests to do so for the R4i. Okay, the first thing I need to do is take out my micro SD scenario already. This one I actually use for my A4, uh, Ace card, sorry. And um, put it into my card reader. Okay, and then wait for Windows to pick up that I've inserted a card. And there it is. Okay, that's my H4. H card 4, sorry. H card, H card 2 line, sorry. Alright. And now, uh, if you saw my previous video on how to set up the Ace card, um, you'll s you should have something that looks like this. Uh, what I will then do is just create a new folder. I'm just saying it says. So there's this next folder. And we'll go into there. Okay, now, um, I will provide a download link for the emulators I use in these forthcoming videos, which is going to show us play several games. Uh, this SNES one now, so all we need to do is just copy that over into the SNES file that I just made. I will then, uh, once you've done that, uh, download any ROMs or get the ROMs that you want. I have got a simple shooting up game here, it's in my win, which is extra, uh, in compressed format. Um, obviously, you need to uh, get them out of there, so you need to extract them. Uh, into where the SNES and DS files, it has to be in the same folder as the emulator file itself. And once you've copied all the games you want, um, you then just take the card out, card reader, put it back into the AT card to do this. So, pop it back into the Yes. And then turn it on. Okay, let's see how it's part two. What do I do? Let's reload. So, one second, it does work. Because it's so far from you. It's barely a couple of seconds here. Okay, here we go. So I've got it from there. Uh, yeah, I need to. Well, it's back. Right, and there we are, we have two folders, we've got my games, my DS games in, and now it's this folder. So let's go to this next folder, there's the emulator itself, so you just punch it up there, and it will then load, like so. Ok, now you see the ones come up straight away there, which is the one I have on there. You see the more ones we've got, the bigger the list. <laughs> And it should do it. There it goes. Turn it up there. It's fine. Uh, you can adjust the options uh, to like, make the screen pop and things like that. Um, but basically, that's how you do it. So I'll just go to the game chat, it does that. Right? Mm. Ok, hey, that's how you get some things working. If you've got any questions or comments, um, do live in the usual place or drop me an email on the usual address. Alright, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And cheers, bye.